finding that space to store your preps, making room for your prepping items. So many preppers say they don't have enough room to store their prepping items. Well, this is Linda from Let's Talk Prepping, and I'm going to give you a few ideas on how to find space to store your preps. And of course, the first thing to do is to get rid of all the non-essentials, all the junk that you have around your house. You want to declutter your house. You might be able to sell some of the stuff you have on eBay, Craigslist, Facebook Marketplace, or a lawn sale. And that's going to give you extra money to prep some more. So first thing you have to do is go into each and every room in your home and really look at it. Look for space that can be used for storage, places you've never noticed before. Are all of your shelves absolutely filled up? If not, use them. Can you get a larger, bigger shelf set? Think vertically. Look up. Scan your walls up high and see what you could add. Could you add shelves? Could you add cabinets? All blank walls are potential storage areas. You can put up pegboard and hang various items from it. This works very well in the basement where you can just hang up all your tools. You can add cabinets, you can add shelves, all the way up to the ceiling. Now you might have to get someone skilled to do this, and of course if you live in an apartment, you probably can't add a lot of shelving to the walls, but it can be done. You can add hangers to the back of the doors. You can use end tables and coffee tables that open up for storage, or you can make your own end tables and coffee tables out of five-gallon pails full of food or other prepper items. You put your five-gallon pails there, put a board across it, put a fancy cloth over it. You've got your coffee table, and you've stored everything in the five-gallon pails. You can use old trunks that open up as coffee tables and end tables. You can use the space on top of your kitchen cupboards. You can use your attic. Probably not good for food storage because it gets too warm in the summer, but certainly for other stuff. Look under things now. So when you're in each and every room, look down under all beds. You know, you can even raise your bed up higher so you have more storage under it. Do you have a crawl space under your home? You could use that. Look to see where you could add cabinets. Look to see where you, how you could put shelves above the doorways. As you go into a room, turn and look through the back at the door above it and see how you could just put some shelves right up there to store things. You can fill garbage cans or five-gallon pails and boxes and use them as bedside tables in your bedroom. Just put a covering over them. Now, the garbage can, you might want to take the top off and then place a piece of wood over it. And if you're even skilled, I suppose you could cut a circular piece of wood. But you could put the wood over the top. And then, of course, you're going to drape it with some kind of cloth to make it look kind of fancy. You can also just extend your nightstand left or right, or up and down. Take that nightstand or bookcase and just extend it to the ceiling. You can install rods various places and use hooks to hang things. So you can use furniture with storage nooks hidden and hidden compartments, built-in bookcases. You want to go to your closet and rearrange your clothes to give yourself some more room. You want to rearrange maybe the clothes in your chest of drawers. Maybe you can add some prepping items in there just by rearranging the clothes in there. I looked inside my regular closet, just a plain old closet that you open the door, not a walk-in closet. And I just took a step in and turned around. And as you notice, when you turn around, above the door is a place that's not utilized. So you could put a shelf right above that closet door on the inside. You can also put five-gallon buckets filled with your prepping stuff or boxes on the floor of the closet. And then you can put your shoes on top of them or even put a sheet of plywood over them and store stuff. So use boxes that you can stack, anything that stacks, five-gallon cans, five-gallon buckets, etc. You might want to label everything if you have a lot of five-gallon buckets. I noticed I have a upstairs, and 
when you go down in the basement, you can see the the back, the bottom, I don't know, the stairs that are going upstairs. And I looked at that and I said, I could add shelves to each of those stairs that are going down, that are going upstairs as they go down to the basement. You can add an outdoor shed. There's so much more you can do. Now, it's not a lot, but there certainly is more. And of course, you're going to be storing your food in the basement. So that's where you want to really look and see what you can do, how you can add more storage space there using these same ideas. Shelves, cabinets, uh, five-gallon buckets in the corners, just right up to the rafters. You can do all kinds of things. Those are just a few of my ideas for finding space to store your prepping items, how you can make a little bit more room for your prepping items. So thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Please like the video and comment. And thank you again for watching.